Hey guys and girls, uh, welcome back to another example video. Uh, this is the 13th example video and uh, this one is kind of fun, I guess. Uh, it's another vector tutorial or a vector example uh, with uh, some dice. Because I like using dice, you know, I'm a gambler. No, I'm just kidding. I just like dice because uh, you get some randomness into it and it's always fun, you know. Um, so yeah, we need seed time for that, for the randomness, and we need the vector included. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a vector that... Uh, the user can add dice to and then you can throw all the dice together uh, using a for loop and uh, what happens is that the total of all the dice will be uh, will be uh, shown. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making our vector vector and the dice are uh, of type integer so our vector will keep a bunch of integers in it uh, and we'll call it dice whoops dice collection okay so there we go and what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna have it menu driven so we'll have an integer choice as well and we're gonna have to print the result and a total so we're gonna have an int actually I'll do this up here int uh, roll and int integer total okay this should this should be it um, okay so let's make the actual program while choice is larger than zero let's keep going and actually we'll just program ending just like that just like that um, so yeah yeah we got our dice collection so the user is going to get a choice. Brah, please choose. Please choose. So let's see what we're going to do. We're going to have 0 for quit as usual. We're going to have 1 for add dice. We're going to have 2 for remove last and 3 for roll. That sounds about right. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, um, so let's do this. Choice. Okay. And we'll have the same thing in here as usual. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a switch case again. And we're going to have choice. Alright. And then default Right. You guys have seen this before. You guys are pros, man. I'm just, I'm just going. I'm just rolling with it. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna tell the bro that, bro, what you doing? Wrong input, man. Okay. And that line. And now we got our choices, right? So case one. Remember, we don't need a case zero because if we do zero, it's going to just straight up quit anyway. So we don't need a case for that. It's just going to break out of the while loop and go return zero. So we'll have a quit. Um, case two. And we'll have a case three. All right. So the first case to add a die. So uh, we're going to tell the user to add a die. So we're going to need some temporary variables here. We're going to need a int die size okay I'll just keep using dice whatever um, let's see so dice size okay and we're gonna get in dice size and now we're gonna assume that the person who's inputting is gonna give us a correct integer value, not start writing some SF, some stuff like some characters. So just keep assuming that we give it the correct input because if we don't, this whole thing is gonna break. But don't worry about that. Um, then we're gonna go into uh, dice collection and we're gonna give it uh, dot pushback, if you remember that, and we're gonna give it dice size. There we go. So that is, we have added a die and we'll just tell the user dice added. Woohoo. And that line. 
And case two is to remove the last die. So let's do this. And let's say here we can use this dice collection dot empty. If dice collection is not empty, that's why you write this here. This is another kind of thing. This is a boolean. It's going to return a boolean value, either true or false. If dice collection, the vector is empty, like it is from the start, we shouldn't be able to remove stuff, right? So, but if it is empty, this is going to give us true. If it's false, it's going to give us false. If it's if it's <laughs> not empty, it's going to give us false. Okay? So when we do this, at a exclamation mark here this means the opposite so if dice collection is not empty then do this okay if it's not empty that means we can remove something right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say dice collection dot pop back okay so we're gonna remove a die and we're gonna tell the user that a die has been removed and sad face of course, and end the line. And else, we can just tell the user that it's empty, right? Nice uh, is empty. Okay, there we go. Now we have a few things here. And to roll the die, this is the thing here. We need the random thingy. So here we'll use a for loop, and we'll go through dice collection dot size since we want to go from 0 to the actual size of the, uh, the array and uh, change that to integer if you wish. You don't have to, but you could. Um, let's see now. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to output. We're going to output. And as we roll the die, we're going to show the total as well. So we're going to be adding the total. So let's see. Roll equals dice collection at position i roll equals random dice collection, because remember this dice collection has like a value that we input it, either it's a six sided die or or whatever kind of die we have here, uh, plus one as well, because every die starts with a one, and this is a die's maximum value, plus one, so random between that, and we're going to here, see here uh, we're going to do this actually, so we see which index we're at the i, you can print the i out I think we did it last time. And so you see which position you're at. And dice. No, roll. Roll. There we go. So we show the roll, each roll. And then we add total plus equals roll for each time, right? And at, when that's done, we'll just see a total roll. And that line. So we have a whole dice. Uh, thrower game. Let's see if this works here. So let's see. Let's see if quit works. Quit worked. Program ending. We have added die. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We add a six sided die. Let's add a, another die, a 20 sided die. And let's roll these. So six and eight is what we got. So total was eight. That is not good because I put it. So total is what you want to. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm tired. Uh, total is what you want to see out here. Uh, output to the screen. And everything else should be fine. Let's just try removing a die as well. Make sure that works. Let's add a six-sided die. Let's add a ten-sided die. Let's add a, or ten-dotted die, twenty-dotted die. Let's roll these. Two, nine, eight. Okay, let's roll it again. Four, ten, sixteen. So, forty-eight. And then we'll just remove a die. Roll it again. We get a 1-1. One, one. Roll it again. Roll it a few times. See that we're getting a 10 side. Yeah, we got a 10 there. Yep. So that's working. And we'll remove another one. Remove another one. And then the dice is empty. And we, we're trying to roll it and the total is from way before. You could probably fix that uh, by nullifying the variables. But yeah, cool guys uh, and girls. That worked. Quitting that. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And let's see if we can get the whole thing in here. There we go. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something as usual. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, all right? So take care. Bye-bye.